It's official, the NFL salary cap will be $188.2 million per team for the 2019 season. This represents an $11 million jump from last year's $177.2 million cap. The salary cap has been consistently rising $10 minus $12 million per year since 2013, and this trend will likely continue as TV deal money keeps flowing. The NFL also released numbers for franchise tags, transition tags, and restricted free agents. The Redskins aren't expected to use either tag on any players this year. If they would apply the tag to OLB Preston Smith, it would cost them $15.4 million. W.R. Jamison Crowder would come with a $16.7 million price tag this year. Neither of those things is happening, and they are both expected to test free agency. As a rap sheet said, the salary cap for 2019 has been set at $188.2 million. Via League Memo, here are the official franchise and transition tag numbers sent to teams today. Pick.twitter.com slash vbowska 7 Albert Breer, at Albert Breer, March 1, 2019 Salary cap by year, 2019, $188.2 million 2018, $177.2 million 2017, $167 million 2016, $155.27 million 2015, $143.28 million 2014, $133 million 2013, $123 million 2012, $120.6 million, the Washington Redskins had a lot more money going into last season than they will this year. According to Over the Cap, the Redskins have tilled a dollar, $17 million in cap space next year, whilst the track puts the number at tilled a dollar, $16 million. This does not include several pending free agents that could be resigned including Ty Ansica, Preston Smith, Jamison Crowder, Adrian Peterson, and others. The Redskins also have several players who could be released or traded after this season for significant cap savings like Mason Foster, $2 million, Jordan Reed, $6.12 million, Josh Norman, $8.5 million, Vernon Davis, $5 million, and others. Where the Redskins won't get cap relief. Alex Smith's $20.4 million cap hit that is guaranteed, 